I really wish I tried using the blend tool in Illustrator sooner because while it looks like a super advanced technique, it's actually an easy tool to learn that allows you to blend shapes and colors together to achieve some stunning effects. I'll show you two ways to create 3D text, one by using a custom path to make this noodle looking text, and two with live text that repeats itself over again. As a bonus, I'll show you how to create a 3D shooting star using the blend tool. Let's begin by making the noodle looking text, and we can start by grabbing the elliptical tool and then just drawing out a circle. You want to add a gradient to the circle, and you can do that by going to your gradient tool or to your gradient panel at the side here, where you can also change the color, or you can also go up to your top where the fill is and go to your color libraries and change that to gradients, and then I chose the sky color library because I think there's some nice gradient colors. Once you choose a gradient for your circle, you want to duplicate that by holding Option or Alt on your keyboard and Shift to drag that in a straight line. Select both your circles and then go up to Object, Blend, and Blend Options. For your spacing, you want to choose Specify Distance, and then you want to enter one pixel. And that will make your blend smooth like butter. Next, with both your circles selected, let's go back up to Object, Blend, and Make. And as you see, we have a very smooth blend between both our circles. Let's put this to good use by grabbing our pencil tool and then just drawing out some letters to create a custom path. Once you draw out your letters, select your custom path and the gradient blend that you made. Go up to Object, Blend, and Replace Spine. You can change the color of your gradient by going to your Layers panel and selecting both of these circles, and then go into your Gradient panel and you can change the color here, or you can also choose a default gradient color in your Colors library. For the next method, let's grab our Text tool and just type out some text. Increase your text size and change your font. I'm using a font called Peachy Keen JF. You want to duplicate your text by holding Option or Alt on your keyboard and dragging down, and then hitting Command or Control and D on your keyboard to duplicate it one more time. Now I'm going to duplicate my artboard so I can show you two different examples, one with live text and one with expanded text. Let's select all the text on the first artboard and then go to Object, Blend, and Make, and then let's go back up to Object, Blend, and select Blend Options. For your spacing, make sure it's specified steps, and then just change this amount to repeat your word as many times as you would like. I want my fill to be white, and then I want to add a black stroke to my text. Next, let's select the text on our second artboard, and then go up to Object, Expand, and then hit OK. Now your text is a shape and no longer editable. Let's go up to Object, Blend, and Make, and then let's go over to our eyedropper tool and sample the text style from our first artboard. There's some weird stuff going on with the B, but we'll just ignore that. You can change the color of your text by selecting your words in the layer panel and then changing your fill color, and as you'll see, the colors automatically blend from word to word. Now the main difference between live and expanded text is, if I grab my direct selection tool and grab my live text, the entire word moves, whereas if I grab my expanded text, I can move individual letters. You can make your blend more interesting by adding a curve to it, and you can do that by using the arc tool. So go ahead and drag out an arc shape, and then grab your direct selection tool and select your anchor points on your arc, then drag out your handles to create kind of an S shape. Let's select both the text and the S shape, then go up to Object, Blend, and Replace Spine. If you think it looks weird, you can also go up to Object, Blend, and then Reverse Spine. Now let's use the Blend tool to make a 3D star shape. So let's go ahead and grab our star tool and then hold Option and Shift to drag out a star shape. I'll make this larger star a yellow color, and then I'll drag out a smaller shape. You can do either a small circle or star or even a square if you wanted, but I'll do a small circle and then just make this a darker orange color. Once you have both of these shapes, you want to select both your shapes and then go up to Object, Blend, and Make. Then go back up to Object, Blend, and select Blend Options. You want to make sure specified distance is selected and then enter one pixel to make your blend transition very smooth. Now select the anchor point of your smaller shape and then go to the top and select Convert Selected Anchor Point to Smooth and now you can use these handles to curve your blend. And you can reverse the orientation of your blend by going up to Object, Blend, and Reverse Spine. And now just keep adjusting your anchor points and handles and if you want you can copy and paste your larger star on top with Command or Control and V with Shift to paste in place. And these are some really handy ways you can use the blend tool in Illustrator. It would mean a lot if you left a thumbs up and subscribed if you enjoyed the video. To continue making custom typography, I highly recommend checking out my wavy text effect video in Illustrator. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.